So, the bulldozer failed on Sky Hill. I kind of expected it. Nothing with torque can climb that hill. You can't get enough traction, it's too straight up. Everything is velocity and torque to get up there. So on the way down, I released the clutch, rolled back down really quick, and for some reason, even though the clutch lever is in release position, this long lever that's pointing forward, that's release position, pull it back, engages, and she goes. Well, anyways, the clutch is engaged. Dozer starts fine, everything works, gear shifter, but you can't put it in gear because the, ge the gears are spinning and they just grind. So now I gotta take her all apart. Hope it's not a multi-beer job, but it's a gorgeous day by the beach to do it. So there's an inspection port. I can see everything. Everything looks normal. But this thing is jammed. This arm actuates that thing. And that's like the clutch forks that push and pull on the pressure plate. So let's take all the bigger bolts off all around the outside and get a good look in there. Got that cover off. It was pretty easy. Everything looks normal. You've got a huge flywheel, huge pressure plate. Still can't see what's wrong. So I've got all the perimeter bolts loosened about halfway to hold the pressure plate on. And now the mechanism functions. Pull the lever. Engage, disengage. Huh. I have one possible idea what could have happened. This dozer goes about one mile an hour in first gear at 1100 RPM full throttle. That's what I was doing when I was climbing the hill. Well, when I got three quarters of the way up, it wouldn't climb no more. Track was slipping, released the clutch. It rolled back down at about, say, 15 miles an hour, faster than it's ever gone. Well, even though the clutch wasn't engaged with the engine at that point in time, it was still spinning because the transmission was still engaged. So it was spinning at 15 times its normal speed it would be spinning, which is not 1100 RPM, but is about 16,000 RPM. Well, I get a guess that the clutch plate exploded from centrifugal force, and now that the pressure plate's released, all the chunks are free to move around, and they're not jamming it anymore and engaging it. So, and I did hear uh, little chunky sounds falling down when I did hit the pressure plate with a hammer for a second just to release it. Gee, I put a new clutch in here 10 years ago. That means I gotta do it all over again. Pain in the ass. So all you guys that suggested I do Sky Hill with a dozer ought to pitch in together and buy me a new clutch. Wasn't my idea to do this, you know. So there's a really big universal joint that couples the clutch mechanism to the transmission. That's removed. Now it looks like it has a short stubby shaft that can be pulled backwards and pulled out of the clutch, then the release bar will have to re be removed so everything can be lifted out. So I've withdrawn the release arm. Now to release the release fork. Just a giant version of what's in a car. Now I've got one safety bolt holding everything on right there. So I guess I can take everything out. Although if I remember last time I had to use tobacco and the tractor, I mean the tractor to hook a chain on and lift it. It's awful heavy. So press lots of chunks of clutch in there. Definitely just blew up by g-force. Never would have imagined that. So I got the clutch out and it's a big one. Now I'm off to traction heavy equipment parts and repair and service to send it away to have it relined with new friction material. Right baby? So there it is and it's a lot bigger than a cat. You can see some of the chunks that flew off, all just by centrifugal force. And this side just started disintegrating. Great big splines. Looks exactly like a car clutch. There's the other side. Every little bit flew off. Pressure plate and flywheel are still okay. The next video will be putting it all back together and seeing the horror how much it cost. 
oh my god I hope I can make enough money off these YouTube videos to pay for it because I did this job for you guys not for me I knew it wouldn't make it up Sky Hill <laughs>